हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल हॉस्पिटल टूर ब्लॉग तो आज हम आपको राजीव गांधी कैंसर हॉस्पिटल के बारे में बताएंगे जो कि दिल्ली में है ये एशिया का वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट हॉस्पिटल कहलाता है यहाँ पर लेटेस्ट इक्विपमेंट्स के साथ में सभी प्रकार के कैंसर का इलाज किया जाता है जो कि बहुत ही किफायती दामों पर होता है Our vision is basically to serve poor people at the international standard and at an affordable cost with ethics and values. We have uh, the medicine department, we have the surgical department, we have the radiation, then we have the support services in terms of lab, in terms of imaging, in terms of nuclear medicine. There are 250,000 foot calls every year, about 23 to 24,000 admissions every year, and we have a very efficient uh, team of doctors, about 200 doctors in all, about 600 nurses. We have about 300 technicians. The Euro Oncology Department in Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Hospital leads in doing complicated uh, robotic surgery, like in uh, post chemotherapy, uh, retroperitoneal lymph node dissection, and uh, robot-assisted groin dissection for CA penis. The retroperitoneal lymph node dissection post chemotherapy has a lot of technical difficulties, even in the open surgery. But uh, we have done maximum number of such cases in the world. The groin dissection, you know, is a morbid operation if you do open, but if you do with robotic, the morbidity decreases. And we are in number one in the world probably because the incidence of CA penis is very high in our country, and we do get a lot of cases. All patients are offered international standards of treatment and care. क्योंकि यहाँ पर राजीव गांधी हॉस्पिटल में सारी चीजें एक ही छत के नीचे उपलब्ध हैं, बायोसी और सारी चीजें इसकी है इस वजह से जो है कि कहीं और नहीं किसी के असिस्टेंट पर इसलिए यहाँ पर चूज किया था द रोबोटिक सर्जरी देर वॉज नो मेजर काट नो मेजर इंसिजन नो लॉस ऑफ ब्लड बट द रिकवरी वॉज मच फास्ट देर वॉज नॉट अ मोमेंट पेन और एनी एगनी और एनी डिस्ट्रेस ऑफ एनी काइट इट वॉज अ वेरी गुड पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव केयर टेकन मी आई हैड द फुलस्ट ऑफ सपोर्ट ऑफ द पीपल हेयर आई आई वेरी प्राउडली गो एंड कीप शाउटिंग एवरी वे आई एम कैंसर सर्वाइवर Look at me! Don't get scared of cancer. From its inception, the Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute and Research Center has had an integrated research program in basic and clinical research. The department has published two original techniques. One is going to get published. One was pressure spot island new bladder, and this is a technique where we make new bladder after removing the urinary bladder for cancer. And it was modification of existing bladder, which was a Studer's bladder, and it by this technique the bladder. reaches to the urethra where from where the we remove the original bladder this technique i am doing since 2005 and we have done more than maybe 1000 cases now we are working on the long term results of the same technique the second thing which we published was mini lap cystoprostectomy this is removing the bladder with a small incision so we started reducing reducing the incision which reduces the morbidity also of the patient The third technique, uh, which we are working on now, is the tube-in-tube technique of joining ureter with the intestine. We have done uh, enough number of patients. Now we are just waiting for the long-term results. Basic research: we had been many collaboration with the ICPO and MIT University. I worked in Maryland also in a molecular uh, lab in uh, Center for Prostate Disease Research. Neuro oncology: we could. Uh, publish a arg expression in ca prostate patients from rajiv gandhi cancer hospital those are the only data from india in arg expression on the prostate cancer and right now we are working on other projects like maybe prostate cancer genome the department had been the part of the clinical trial since 2006 we have recruited a lot of patients in these trials a patient gets benefited because he get the treatment which is not available in the market which is free of cost so we give a care which is not even tertiary rather a step ahead care which will not be there anywhere in the country at the forefront is the technology and today we have two robotics various other instruments which are state of the art be it radiation or nuclear medicine or pet scan and in addition i think the core of you know in in cancer especially is the diagnosis we have a state of the art molecular lab which is one of the best in, in the country and through that we are able to diagnose quickly and efficiently and correctly because diagnosis in the cancer is the key then we have a tissue bank which is again a unique to the institutions and through the tissue banks we are able to do a lot of research and we are able to disseminate this to others also for doing research we do a lot of preventive free screening of the patient do about 10000 screenings every year 
and that we find about 3 to 4 percent are either the pre-cancerous stage or the cancerous stage. These people are helped by the institute and in addition we have a home care unit which goes to all the patients who are at the end of their life, palliative care basically. And in addition, we do a lot of uh, philanthropic work from the hospital because we are no profit uh, uh, organization. We spend about $1.5 million every year on philanthropic work, giving free bed to a patient or giving some uh, concession in, in the medicines. It goes a long way, especially in the country like ours where people are poor.